We're going on vacation. Welcome to episode 9 of Travel Diaries, where I take you along on my three-day trip to Ghent, showing you everything from restaurants to comedy clubs, thrift stores of franchises and tourist attractions. We started our first day at Café René, sharing a pasta while debating the potential prize of the vent that I gave my car 30 minutes earlier. Um, yeah, anyway. After lunch, we went frolicking around in some bookstores, calming our nerves about the car and finding some distraction until we could check in at the hotel. This is the outfit tonight. Hello. 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 As the day went down, we made our way to Taco Santo for dinner. The atmosphere was spot on with cool to cool and friendly faces all around. However, the food just didn't really hit the mark for us. But perhaps it was just a bad night considering the place had many good reviews. <laughs> We then ended our evenings trolling around the city, alive with tourists, but mostly local party goers, as the Gentse Feesten were taking place that week. Today we went full tourist mode, trading our casual browsing for a serious shopping spree. We took a boat tour over the canals and then wandered into a cathedral where we experienced a truly magical moment. After taking a big fat nap in our hotel, we hit the streets again, taking in its medieval architecture and arty corners before following our noses to the meat factory. We took the free evening with some laughs at the MI Comedy Club and both of these I highly recommend visiting. Originally, we had planned to visit a few of Gens' markets, but with the Gens' feast going on, it seemed the markets had taken a break. So instead, we wandered through the city, soaking in its beauty and its history and the remnants of the freshly held parties. For breakfast, we headed to Bosbar, going for a nutritious meal to get us through the day. Ga daar even de trap lopen, even voor het sfeertje. Kom. Voor dat bed is filled, we made our way to Gravensteen. The once a very mighty castle, where the audio guide was full of Flemish humor, which made it fun for all ages.
We couldn't resist checking out some more stalls, which were followed by a pizza for dinner while people were watching at the terrace. <laughs> and afterward, we dove back into the Grenze Feest to soak up even more of the festival vibes before heading home the next day. I have to say, Ghent has quickly become one of my favorite cities ever. Ghent, I would definitely come back.